All right, well, a day in the life of me. Well, I woke up at about 8 this morning because I had to be in at 10 to go to my office hours and get a little homework done before I came into campus since I live about 10 minutes away. Got here at office hours, have to be here till 2 o'clock. So I'll be doing my homework now since I don't have any other time to do homework. Then after that, instead of having a free moment, I have to go to Hamden High School and I have to go interview the football team for a class. And then after I do that, I get to come back and instead of having a free moment there, now I have to edit the package, which takes usually a couple hours. And somewhere in there I have to find a way to get to the general staff meeting tonight, which is at 4 o'clock and, well, usually that's going to be okay for me to do, but today, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge since I won't have time. And then after I'm done editing, I somehow have to find time to create this presentation I have to give tonight at 8 o'clock for my class, which has to be 15 minutes long. And then, you know, after class you'd think, okay, the day's over, but no, that's not the case, because after that I have to rehearse with my teacher at 9 o'clock for my acting final, since I couldn't find any other better time to do it. And then you would think, you know, after all this, it started, what, today, 10 a.m., you know, I'm, it's about 10 p.m. now, the day's over. No, the day's not over, because then I have a radio show to do from 10 to 12. So essentially, I will not have time to eat lunch or dinner, and I will be gone from my house without a free moment from 10 in the morning till midnight. Life is good. Life is good. I'm going now to drive to Hamden High School so I can interview the football team for our last package of the year. The team's 9-1. and one. Well, They are going to the playoffs. They officially clinched a spot which is exciting considering they won one game last year. So I'm off to do that and then find time to get home and grab my script for rehearsal tonight. So that is what I'm doing in the next hour or so. How long have you been planning to do these uh, interviews? We've had these interviews scheduled for about a week now. We, this is our fourth one, so we're, we're pretty close to the the coach and the players. They know us pretty well. So we've had this scheduled for a while. Unfortunately, we were planning on doing it yesterday, so I had to take time out of my schedule then to go to the school. However, when I got there, I found out they had no practice and no one decided to tell me. So I'm going back today, and instead of being in my office hours, I'm leaving office hours early to go to these interviews. Hopefully in time where I can get back for the general staff meeting at 4 o'clock. Do I believe that will happen? No, but I can hope. Well, so that trip to the high school worked out a little bit. We wanted to interview head coach Scott Benoit. That did not happen, so we had assistant coach Dave Monroe talk to us. We still have to go back there to get the players, which just adds another layer to this hectic Wednesday, which seems to be happening every Wednesday. It's ironic that Don't Stop Believing is playing because, well, this day is not even halfway over. So I end up having to cancel my radio show tonight because I have to edit. So now I go to my apartment, get my script, try to memorize the script by 9 o'clock when I have rehearsal. If I haven't had that completely memorized. And we're going to go back to school. I'm going to try to log and capture all the video I had already from the football team before the general staff meeting and then as soon as the general staff meeting ends I'm going to run out of there and go back to the high school to interview the players and then hopefully find somewhere in there to finish my presentation and eat because I'm a little bit hungry. So that is where we stand at this point and it's only 2.30 on Wednesday. What a life. Now we're off to the general staff meeting. Not in Buckman today, but still downstairs. Can you see a documentary about the life of Mike Selman? That'd be amazing. I normally sit here, but there's no chairs, so I'm going to sit next to my favorite people, the news PR girls. So in sports, we are now going to travel to all the women's basketball games, potentially, because they love us that much. Chris Thompson might join us if, uh, if, he, feels, if he feels like he wants to come. Broadcasting lots of games still, coming to the meetings, 9.15 on Wednesdays. Cool. Yeah. 
came up here, done at the high school. I'm gonna go back and edit this for our final piece on the Hampton High Football Team. And then go to class and give a presentation. About halfway through the day so far, but we're still having fun. Well, just finishing up my package here. It's about 727. And I got about 20 minutes till my presentation, which is at 755. It's been a crazy day, but hopefully we're getting it all done. It's going somewhat smooth, which is always nice. I just got the little math and add up all these times to make this script. And I'll be out of here and on to the next part of this crazy, crazy Wednesday. Well, it's now 8.30, I just finished giving my presentation and now I'm off to rehearse for about 10 minutes before I have to do it in front of my teacher. And then hopefully we'll catch the radio show, so let's go. I see the gun and like immediately like, like this isn't funny, This is Katie. where this stuff gets really tough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But okay. then like stop immediately because... Right. All right, we're the last stop of the day. Just got back from rehearsal with the acting scene. Now about to go do the radio show. All right, that wraps up the radio show. It's been a long day. Started at 10 in the morning. I'm gonna go home, go to bed. Thanks, guys.